Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. The Curse of Oak Island. The team now has two secret chambers in the Money Pit area. This week on The Curse of Oak Island, the team uncovered a second secret offset chamber beside the garden shaft. This new discovery came as the guys continued to explore the Aladdin's cave void about 30 feet southwest of the garden shaft within the money pit area. Most of this week's episode involved the guys assessing damage and cleaning up after a brutal storm hit Nova Scotia. However, it seemed like out of their depression and misery, there may have come a massive breakthrough. The guys were particularly depressed about the garden shaft now being filled with 30 feet of water. The Dumas Mining Company and the guys could not find where the water was coming from, making them think the storm had somehow breached a flood tunnel. Hitting a flood tunnel would be massively frustrating as it brings work to a halt, but it could also be a positive as it would mean they are close to something important. With about 700 gallons of water piling in every hour, the Dumas guys needed to focus all efforts on finding where the water was coming from and how to stop it. However, what appeared to be a disaster may have been a blessing in disguise. The Dumas team conducted exploratory drilling, probing to see where the water was entering the shaft, and they stumbled across an offset chamber. Roger Forden took a picture on his cell phone of a small chamber at a depth of 65 feet, with timbers piled up inside. Roger kept referring to the find as very weird, and stressed the void or cavity was separate from the shaft. The guys have been busting a gut, hoping to find an offset chamber close to garden shaft, and now it seems they may have finally done it. Unfortunately, there was no time on last night's episode to explore the chamber and investigate if it was part of a larger structure or tunnel. The absolute priority at that moment was stopping the flow of water. The Fellowship of the Dig has been searching for a secret offset chamber containing the elusive treasure for a long time. But Marty Legina and the guys have now started floating the idea that there may be multiple offset chambers with varying amounts of treasure throughout the money pit area. With that in mind, the guys are still trying to ascertain if Aladdin's cave, a 30-foot-long cavern located about 160 feet below the surface to the southwest of the garden shaft, is human-made and could be a treasure chamber. The team dug another hole over the void and sent down a high-definition camera and a sonar scanner. Frankly, the guys still don't have their answer. The bottom of the cavern slopes at a steep angle and is covered in silt and sediment. Geologist Terry Matheson suggested something may be buried under the sediment, but it's currently impossible to tell. Steve Guptill thought he saw an opening into the void, which would be a necessity if the void was human-made. However, the image was unclear and the other guys refused to confirm Steve's theory. The upshot of their efforts was the need for more investigation of Aladdin's cave.